Ciao guys, I'm Wood here, so in this video I'm gonna see how to install Quake VR, the real one on the Oculus Go. But first, thank you so much for watching. If you're new from the channel, feel free to check out all the other videos in the channel. And if you like what you see and want to keep in updated about VR and tech in general, just click or tap the subscribe button so you don't miss anything. But let's go back in topic and let's see together how we install this from the computer. I'm gonna leave the card over here for the guide how to install all the APK on the Oculus Go because we're gonna need that part. Also, then we're gonna add all the game, the whole game from Steam and also the high level textures to make it look even more beautiful. So let's switch to the computer right now and let's see how to do it. And here we are on the computer, so first thing first, I want to tell you also that you're going to need a gamepad to play this game because without you're not going to be able with the Oculus remote, at least I didn't find any way. Uh, I'm going to leave the link below for the GameSteer gamepad, it's the one I'm using for more than a year actually and it's totally compatible with the Go and it's pretty cheap and also comes with a bracket for the phone if you play on your phone too, maybe emulators and stuff and that's very very useful. But let's go back in topic and see how to install Quake VR on the Oculus Go. So what we have to do first is of course to download the APK for the app and we can do like in the first guide I did uh, going on siloed VR you're gonna find it there without any problem you just go in the search and you search for Quake and that's what you're gonna find and you can then share it with you and that's no problem at all or if you need I can leave the link below directly of the APK that come from Reddit that is very very useful for so maybe it's gonna be even faster so first thing to do is just to download the game from the link the apk and that's the download over here uh, let's go on our uh, download folder and see what's going on so we have quake gvr apk what we have to do is just to copy and paste it in our folder for idb so we have there and we are not gonna uh, lose it anywhere so here we do we paste the APK and I highly suggest to just change a little the name like we did in the first video to have it a little easier to install on the command prompt so uh, I will take the GVR off without the um, without with the uppercase and stuff so it's gonna be easier and create just the a file name wake at this point of course we're gonna have to connect our oculus go to the computer through the cable the sound is there so it's connected and to go as always on the command prompt we started as an admin admin and sorry and we start putting again our folder from the adb so we copy the address here and over here we're gonna do cd space and the address with ctrl v we have it there and then to install it is adb install quake dot apk or whatever the name you decided to have now in my case the is already installed so you're gonna see it failing because of course i already installed it there exactly failed and that means that it is installed. So what we have to do right now, the second thing that we have to do is just to go in our Go and let me see if I can record what I'm doing over here. Okay, so to go in our Go, to go on library and unknown sources and to look for our new arrived, that is gonna be Quake GVR. So we click on it it's gonna stop for sure recording and we start the game you can hear from the sound that the game is working right now so what we have to do is just closing it and we go back to our computer because it's not done yet so this one the APK that you downloaded is just the freeware part so uh, it's gonna just just the asset of the game and the start but not the whole game to unlock the old game we're gonna have of course to buy it and put all the information from the computer to our oculus go so that's what we're gonna do right now we also started um quick vr to create the folder in our oculus go over here when you go to see it i highly suggest also to reboot your oculus go 
keep pressing on the power button and pressing on the reboot uh, many times, sometimes at least, because sometimes it's not showing up. I had a long discussion of Reddit about it because mine wasn't showing up at all and I had to start computer and go and whatever. And thanks so much to Omni Shanker that helped me a lot doing everything and made this video possible, of course. So, uh, after rebooting and stuff, what we have to do is to go on Steam, of course, and to buy the game. So we have Quake, that is a real game, it's gonna be $4.99, maybe you're gonna be able to find it for something less in uh, some third-party website, uh, is no problem. The important thing is that we install the game on our machine. So when the game is installed, we can go on our Quake folder on Steam. So in my case is in the Steam, and then it's gonna be Steam app, uh, common, we look for Quake, and we're gonna need this folder over here, ID1. So with this folder, what we have to do is copy the content and paste it in our folder over here a quick VR where we have the ID one we open it and we paste everything that was in the folder uh, of the original game on the computer in that way we're gonna unlock the full game for the Oculus Go and we're gonna be done and we're gonna be able to play and stuff and <laughs> have fun but if you want uh, the retexturing all the game to make it look even more beautiful i'm gonna leave the link below for this is uh, made by fan so they're working on it for more than 10 years and uh, these are the map texture and the item texture we can download both on the folder of quake so we get in and we click here for the map and we click on item and here to download the items and to install it is super super easy in the same way we go on our download folder they're gonna be in 7-zip so we just open the 7-zip file we like uh, click 7-zip and extract and they're gonna be these two here what we have to do is just to copy the pk3 file so Control c over there and put it in our oculus go folder the id12 so just copy and paste and that's it we don't have to install anything and it's all done at this point having all done what we have to do is just to disconnect our oculus go connect our controller and just start to play Okay guys, so if you liked the video and was useful, like, if you didn't like the video, dislike, let me know in the comment below what you think about it, if you need any help or something like that, and subscribe to the channel for more about VR and tech in general, see you guys in the next video, ciao!